Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Hey, I'm doing a video today because I, I bought these Elder Brock um, E Street aluminum heads. They're supposed to be able to bolt them on right out of the box from Elder Brock and um, not have to worry about anything on them. They come pre-assembled, they have the valve springs, seals and everything in them. And, um, but I, I watched a couple of videos on YouTube of a couple of guys saying that you can't there's no such thing as buying it on out of the out of the box head and i don't know i've never done this before so i was really worried they uh, the one guy showed he had a little indicator he could put in uh the valve seat spin it around there and, and get the true run out from the center line of the valve guide to the valve seat and one guy got like eight thousandths run out which is bad and then I watched another channel, a guy got 10 thousandths run out, which is even worse. I mean, to me, if they're more than a thousandth or two, you probably need to recut them. Um, I don't know exactly what the tolerance is on that, but eight to 10, I guarantee you, is way out of tolerance. So anyway, I thought, oh, no big deal. I'll just bolt them in. You know, I'm not running a hot car or anything. It's just a stock 350. But my concern was if that if that valve is off eight to ten thousandths that's that's four to five thousandths off the center line okay it doesn't sound like much but every time that valve opens and closes it's got to bend over to line up with the valve guide and the valve seat and you do that thousands of times uh you know per minute over several minutes days weeks years you you flex metal it fatigues it breaks okay it could take a thousand years it could take a day depending on how bad it is so i really didn't want to take that chance i'm going to all this trouble and expense i, I want to i don't want to i don't want to have to tear this part again so anyway i, I called them a machine shop a very reputable machine shop uh up in chiefland florida at the napa store uh, they do a lot of performance engines and things and i talked to the guy there and I told him what my concerns were, and he says, well, they, they sell Elderbrock heads, and they really haven't ran into much of an issue that way. He, he said uh, the easiest way to check them first is, is wet test them. You know, with the head sitting flat, pour gas in the runners on the intake and exhaust valves, and then let it sit, and if you get fuel seepage past the valve through here into the ch combustion chamber, then you know they're not lined up, they're not shutting all the way, they're not sealing. That's, that's a, a quick, easy way to do it. Well, I did that and mine didn't leak. I thought, well, good, I'll put them on. And then, and then the more I thought about it, I thought, you know, just my luck, for some reason they're not leaking and, and the first day I run it, I, I throw a couple valves. So I decided to pull all the valves out and I'm a machinist, so I got all the different kinds of indicators, last word indicators, uh, you know, wiggler indicators, all kinds of indicators but I didn't have one that I could make work easily to check these valve seats. So my next thought was I will use um, a product that's called, they call it high spot balloon. And um, it's used in the machine shop business. You use it for like, like if you're wanting to lap a couple of surface lights together, scrape them, you put that on, rub them together and you can see the high spot, you can scrape them off. I mean, you can get it down to, to dead flat. So it's a real good product for, for checking um, you know contact on surfaces and what I did is I, I put it on an intake and exhaust valve and you put just a real light layer I mean it's maybe a thousandth or two thick and you, you drop the valve down in the seat and then you spin it just just by hand you don't you don't put spring pressure on anything because if you put pressure on it you might flex that valve enough to seal and make uh, give you a false reading so you just put it against it just like it's just laying in there with gravity spin it take it back out and i did that with all the holes and um if you look you can see well again i don't know how well with this light it's going to show up but i've got real good even contact all the way around every seat it's perfect contact there's no there's no thin areas it just um to me uh, i'm very happy with the with the looks of this the results you can see there um so I, I feel really confident i can put this back together and not have any issues with it down the road and it's going to work just fine um, 
The other thing, a lot of guys say, oh, you need to go in and, and dress all this area up, you know, with a little sander grinder, slick that all up to get better flow. You do the intakes and exhaust ports, all that stuff. Again, if, if I was running a cam and wanting to get 9 million horsepower out of this thing, I, I would probably be doing all that. It's something very easy to do, and it's fairly inexpensive to do. You can do it yourself. You just have to be careful you don't slip and grind into these surfaces here, everything like that. But um, but I'm not going to do any of that. This is just going to be a stock 350. It's not going to be high performance. It's going to be a nice, easy driver. Um, I mean, I don't, I don't hot rod my vehicles. I just drive them and enjoy them. So I feel really confident that this set of heads anyway is, is well within tolerance to run and not give me any problems down the road and, and do me a good job. So I just wanted to put this video out. If anybody's got any comments or anything, please let me know. I'm not trying to tell people what to do or act like I'm any kind of an ex expert on this at all. I'm not, I'm learning as I'm going and maybe I'm totally wrong doing it this way, but I can't see how they could be off enough to cause any problems when they're marking that well all the way around with the way I did it. And again, I'm a machinist, I'm used to tight tolerance, so I'm used to, to be in particular, and I feel very confident in the way I did these that if there was an issue, it would have showed up especially if you're talking eight to ten thousandths. I guarantee you, on one side of this valve seat, you wouldn't see any of this bluing at all. There's no way it would have touched. So, again, I, I feel real confident with mine. It might not be the same story for the next set that Elderbrock sends out, I don't know. Uh, but it's definitely something to keep in mind if you are buying these, to make sure you, you do check them uh, and, and that you don't have any issues down the road. So, anyway, I appreciate you guys watching my videos. I'll, I'll be uh, hopefully installing these. Here pretty quick i just i just did a video i'm going to post tearing the engine down getting the old heads and then taking everything off and so my next step is to clean up all the surfaces on the block and then be able to start reinstalling these things i did run into an issue with the block that I, i've got to give it some thought I, I i it's got an area that i'm concerned about but i don't think it's going to hurt me any, any in the long term so i just i got to think about it before i go any further but anyway I uh, hope you guys have a great day, and we'll see you on the next video.